Hello, I'm Michał Zwickowski and I will continue the presentation on the contact covariant approach to optimal control written together with Vitot Respondek. In this part, we shall apply the theory developed earlier to the concrete case of the Subramanian geodesic problem. You will find the link to the first part of this talk in the description of this video below. Recall that in the first part of this talk we considered an optimal control problem constituted by a control function f and a cost function l defined on a given manifold q. We argued that if you draw an optimal trajectory in the extended configuration space q times r, then along this trajectory we can construct a family of closed and convex cones and a family of hyperplanes which separate these cones from the direction of the decreasing cost. Further, these hyperplanes are respected by the natural dynamics of the system. The above necessary conditions for optimality is precisely the Pontragi maximum principle in its geometric version. The candidates for solutions indicated by these results are usually known as extremals of the considered optimal control problem. It is worth to mention that extremals can be classified according to the relative position of the separating hyperplanes and the direction of the decreasing cost. If this direction is disjoint with the hyperplane, so in particular we have a strict separation of the cone and the direction, then we speak about normal extremal. In the other case, when the direction of the decreasing cost is contained in the hyperplane, we speak about abnormal extremals. Now, our goal will be to find extremals for the particular example of the Subramanian geodesic problem. This is an optimal control problem in which the image of the map F is a smooth regular distribution on Q and the cost function is defined by a positively defined scalar product on this distribution. So, roughly speaking, we are solving the standard Riemannian geodesic problem on Q of finding curves of the minimal energy, but this time we restrict our attention only to curves which are tangent to a given distribution. So take now a curve gamma on Q, which is an extremal of the Subramanian geodesic problem. We may assume that gamma is an integral curve of a time-dependent vector field X valued in the distribution. For each point of the manifold, let us draw the admissible velocities, that is, the elements of the distribution, and the corresponding costs. Since the costs are quadratic in velocities, the image is a paraboloid in the product space of the tangent space and the real numbers. It turns out that along an extremal, the cones described in the Pontragi maximum principle must contain the second trace of the paraboloid passing through a point corresponding to the actual control of the curve. Since the cones are also closed, they must contain all tangent rays passing through this point and, in consequence, the whole tangent space of the paraboloid. As we see, each cone contains a certain vector space and clearly the same space must be contained in the hyperplane supporting the cone described in the Pontragi maximum principle. Surprisingly, this elementary observation is sufficient to give a geometric characterization of both normal and abnormal Subramanian extremals. In particular, for abnormal extremals we know that the corresponding hyperplanes contain the tangent space of the paraboloid, the direction of the decreasing cost and that they are respected by the natural evolution of the system. After projecting these hyperplanes down from the extended configuration space to the initial manifold, we will obtain a curve of hyperplanes along our trajectory containing the distribution and invariant with respect to the flow of the vector field X. Thus, we prove that if gamma is a Subramanian abnormal extremal, then the smallest distribution along gamma which contains D and is invariant with respect to the flow of X must be of co-rank at least 1. This condition is also sufficient. Starting from such a minimal distribution, one can easily construct a family of hyperplanes which satisfy the assertion of the Pontragi maximum principle. For normal extremals, we have a family of hyperplanes containing the tangent space of the paraboloid, transversal to the direction of the decreasing cost and further invariant 
with respect to the natural evolution of the system. Every such a hyperplane can be presented as a graph of linear map alpha defined on the tangent space of the manifold, such that alpha of x equal to 1 and alpha vanishes on all the elements of d orthogonal to x. If we further assume that the field x is normalized, then along gamma the flow of x would preserve both the kernel of alpha and the field x itself. The first of these conditions implies that the smallest distribution along gamma which contains the part of d which is g orthogonal to x and is respected by the flow of x should be transversal to x. The second condition is equivalent to the fact that gamma is c1 smooth with an absolutely continuous derivative. These two conditions are also sufficient for a curve gamma to be a normal sublimanian extremal. If they are satisfied, one can directly construct a family of separating hyperplanes satisfying the assertion of the Pontryagin maximum principle. And that's it. Geometric version of the Pontryagin maximum principle discussed in the first part of this video, combined with some elementary reasonings, allows to give an elegant and simple geometric characterization of the extremals of the Subramanian geodesic problem. Please check the details in our publication. Thank you for your attention.